Hi, I just wanted to make a quick tutorial on how to install OpenCV 3.2 in a Windows 10 for Eclipse users. And first of all, you need to download and install Java. I believe you can do that. But then we need to install Eclipse. Go to the official Eclipse site and go to download. Here we have download packages and we choose Eclipse ID for C, C++ developers. 64-bit version. After you download it, you need to open CV. Again, we go to official site and pressing open CV for Windows will start download automatically in five seconds. So you download open CV. Let me check it. So here I have my clips and here I have my open CV. Next step we need to, uh, yeah, next step is uh, download and install Mingui W64. It's just uh, one of the distributions of Mingui that I found reasonable enough to install. Uh, it's a forked project from original Mingui and it's quite popular right now as I see. So why do we need it? Uh, of course to build our projects, but also to build OpenCV. So just a few words about OpenCV. New distribution has uh, not only the pre-built libraries but it also comes with sources so you can make OpenCV here and in build x64 vc14 lib you have two libraries and it's really uncommon to those who had experience working with OpenCV, like version 2.3, uh, 2.4.3, sorry, a very stable and very common version that you can find a lot of tutorials on how to use install. And we are used to, you know, we're used to a lot of libraries such as OpenCV underscore core, uh, underscore like image Rock, I don't remember, sorry, hi, GUI, but those who had experience working with it, they are familiar with this structure, and a lot, a lot of more. Now we have only two libraries, it's D in the end, which is for debug, and this one is for uh, production. So it was built with Visual Studio 2015, and unfortunately they no longer support Mingui. Therefore, we have no other option but to build OpenCV for, our, for ourselves with our own means, which is download and install Mingui and CMake. So, once you downloaded Mingui, make sure that you that you choose um, x86 underscore 64, not the default i68. Six, which is uh, basically 32-bit version. So you install the 64-bit version and then you set your environment variable to the bin folder. You go to system, advanced parameters, and under system environment variables you have the path. In here you add the bin folder for your mingu let me check it, just copy past. Here we go, it's in program files, Mingui W64 here, here, and then go bin, and then you have this file Mingui32make.exe. So if you set up everything, you should go to command prompt just to check that you did it right. Check the version and it should show you the version of the Mingui. So if it doesn't work, then probably you have to restart the computer on you type, I don't know, misspelled something. So next step is to go and install CMake. You get it from official site. You go to download section and you get the installer for Windows. And there are no more options, you just go straight forward, install CMake and run CMake. Uh, 
where is it? Yeah, here it is. Program file cmakebin. You run GUI version, then you choose your uh, sources for sources for OpenCV 3.2. Here it is. Don't mind this folder. I just created it before I started recording this video. We're gonna make our own my build. Let's call it uh, my new build. Yeah, that's right. And we go to configure. Yes, it prompts me with do you want to have a new folder? Yes, I want. And here you'll start from this one and you want to scroll down to the very bottom and find this one Eclipse CDT4, Mingui, make files, use default native compilers, and it will take some time. It will uh, create some of the settings. Then you'll choose what you want for this build and what you don't want. But I recommend for not a pro user, not a pro uh, OpenCV programmer, just to leave it as is. And we'll see it in a second. It's not yet building OpenCV, it's only preparing some of the uh, build instructions. Okay, it actually takes some time. You can see during this process that some of this may fail. I think I saw a few failed, yeah. Just don't mind those. I don't really know what it means, but everything works fine for me, so I don't recommend you do anything. Here, here you can find, for example, that it's already by default including CUDA, so you don't need to include some really weird stuff, again, unless you're a pro. Um, then just press generate. So now we have make files. We can go to my new build and see the packages, I mean directories that it created. It has some source codes and CMake files. Um, here, for example, customhull.hpp, but again, the main sources are here and those are just instructions but what this is since we set here to use uh, Eclipse CDT it's actually a valid Eclipse project so we can open it in Eclipse let's start Eclipse first uh, make sure you choose a valid name for your works workspace. My workspace is just workspace hyphen neon hyphen cpp. I don't know what this was. Default workspace. Whoa, what does it mean? Wait a second. Oh, yeah, I already have it run. I'm sorry. Okay, I closed my Eclipse session, let's start a new one. Okay, here we want to import our existing project that we just created here. Very, very subtle move. Yep, this one. As you can see, it found that it's an Eclipse project. We press finish. You don't want to add it to the working set. Make sure you don't have it checked. So now it's here, and you you should build it. That's all you need to do. You should actually just build it. Um, yeah. First of all, it will take some time to index all the files and there are quite a few of them so it will take some time 
we should wait. I'm not gonna skip it so you don't catch me on cheating or something. This is this is a live version of the whole tutorial step by step. So if you are if you are hurrying up then you should probably just skip to the point where the indexer finishes what it's doing but anyway I'm not gonna show you the whole build process I will just start it I wanna start it to show you uh, the progress and I will stop in the middle and then I'll tell you the next steps to do but this build process will take a lot of time probably half an hour or more Yeah, I was unaware that the indexer will take so much time. Okay, while it's still in progress, um you want to probably download some OpenCV example. You find some sample project, something that requires uh, OpenCV libraries, and it has some some library calls like CV im read. Here we have some includes and basically you want to end up with have it running without errors but I believe if you want to work with OpenCV you can write something like this on your own and start a new project uh, anyway okay let's close it right now because the indexer is about to finish Okay, now we just press project, um, build targets built, I'm not sure what's going on. Wait, oh yeah right. build project. Now now we have it. Um, yeah, it's probably just Eclipse took a little bit more time um, on the background and it was misleading at the beginning. But now you can see that it will take some time to build it. So after you build everything, let's just cancel. What you want to do next is to build install and all it will do it will call Mingui uh, make install and after the installation you have a new folder inside your my build which is called install and here you can find x64 Mingui lib with all the libraries that we are so uh, acquainted with so familiar with sorry and it has include so for the OpenCV project we want to go to C++ C++ build settings and set up the include paths for C++ compiler and for C compiler we want to include exactly this uh, where, where is it? yeah, we want to include this directory 
and for for the linker want to show where to find the libraries first and it's in install 64 mingle lip so here is this path and then we just enumerate all the libraries that we want of course you don't need all of them for your small project and if you include more than you need then your executable will explode in size that's one of the downs um, that's one of the I'm sorry that's uh, one of the downside of the new approach that they use with the OpenCV 3.2.0 if you go to build you can find that now they only have two libraries and they actually all contain these smaller libraries but yeah after you enumerate enough of the libraries you should actually have everything without any errors and here we go we can run this simple app and see that OpenCV is set and ready. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and see you later.